okay so this is the next point is the switching here or net switching in networking okay a network consists of many switching device in order to connect multiple device one solution could be uh, have a point to point connection okay between each pair of device but this uh, increase the number of uh, connection the uh, the other uh, solution could be have a central device and connect every device to each other via the central device start topologies we have studied in topologies that is start topologies yeah so both these methods are uh, wasteful and uh, for the very large network the uh, other topology also connected be used hence better solution is switching a switching network is made up of a series of inter connected nodes called switch which is connect interconnected node that is called the switch is switching is look like this this one means let's see let's see so like down here okay so for this we require okay so here we will put the switch one then then switch to okay switch one switch two then switch three like this are connected then okay So here we can give the connection also between C. Okay. So these are the networks. So in uh, okay, so here whatever are connection are there here it's connected to this switch. Okay, so here yes. Okay, so a network consists of many. This is a diagram of like a switch a network and all there. So a network uh, consists of many switching uh, device in order to connect multiple device. One solution could be uh, have a point to point connection between each pair of device, but this increase the number of this one made. So, so can I, um, okay, consider many switching devices in order to connect multiple devices. One solution could be have point to point connection between each pair device, but this increase the number of connection. Okay, the other solution could be to have a central device and connect uh, very de uh, every devices to each other via the central device start topologies. Both these uh, methods are wasteful and um, for very large uh, means so very large network is not useful. So the other topology also called be used. Other topology cannot be used. So hence a better solution is switching. Uh, a switching network is made up of series of interconnected nodes called switches. Switch is a device that creates temporary connection between two or more devices. Shows switch network. Switching modes. The three basic methods of switching are circuit switching, packet switching, and message switching. Okay. So switching methods having it is switching method. Switching method. That is circuit 
sir keep switching let us okay i write like skt okay switching then packet switching then message switching message switching so uh, out of the circuit and packet switching are uh, commonly used today but the message switching has been phase out is general communication but it's still using networking or applic application okay so here this is the three switching methods are there okay so that is a circuit switching right circuit a switching method so here what is the difference of so series packet switching and circuit switching so here what i said out of this circuit and packet switching are commonly used okay today but uh, message switching has been played out in, in general communication okay but it is still using networking application passes message switching is using networking application so what is the difference between packet switching and circuit switching within a network packet switching back stream means a message switching is used for uh, communication purpose in networking application but uh, here the uh, packet switching and circuit switching means uh, what is the difference between okay so the uh, packet switching and circuit switching within a network packet switching break stream of data into small blocks of data when you made a call or to order in that pizza or circuit switch, uh, switch created a temporary and dedicated link of fixed bandwidth between communicating and end nodes okay so so what uh, okay so each of these small blocks are the same in, in, independently of all the shared network packet switching is a different from different from the circuit switching which provide the basis for traditional telephone networks some of them may remember ordering a pizza from a landline okay phone in your house before cellular technology uh, dominated everyday communication okay when you made a call order the pizza a circuit switch created temporary and dedicated link of fixed bandwidth between communication and nodes the link only uh, last until the call uh, call was complete if there were enough network resource available the call wouldn't be established or complete as a uh, dell circuit uh, which can guarantee quality through dedicated bandwidth but most of this bandwidth is based on uh, dead air since the complexity of making call are handled in the centralized facility of phone company circuit so circuit switching allows the telephone itself to be a relatively simple device packet switching allows user to equally share bandwidth resource but makes no promises connecting quality or latency this is useful for transforming data that doesn't require real real time response responsiveness packet switching plays the intelligence in the end nodes rather than phone company facility with simple underlying networks that only direct packets from one side to other so circuit switching physical path between source and destination packet switching no physical path all packet use same path in circuit switching but packet are travel independently in packet switching in circuit switching reserve the entire bandwidth in advance and in packet switching does not reserve bandwidth wastage here in circuit switching but no bandwidth wastage in packet switching so no store and forward transmission is there in circuit switching support store and forward transmission is there in packet switching okay so and you know the message switching is used for the general communication but it's still used in the networking application so switching networks circuit switch okay switching networks uh, circuit switching circuit switching network this one me let me increase the circuit circuit switching network
Okay. So here, circuit switching is used in a public telephone network. It was developed to handle voice traffic, but it can also uh, with, uh, handle digital data. However, circuit switching cannot handle digital data efficiently. Using the circuit switching, a dedicated path is established between two stations for communication. The telephone network provides telephone uh, services, okay, which involves the two way real time transmission, voice single send across the network. The network connection allows electrical current and the association voice single of flow between the two users. And the end to end connection is maintained for duration of call. So, telephone networks are connection uh, oriented because they require the setting up of connection before the actual transfer of information can take place. Okay. So, circuit switching networks here is using the circuit switching, a dedicated path in extra, is established between two stations for communication. The telephone networks provide telephone service which involves two way real time okay uh, transmission of voice signals across the network so so in the transmission mode of network that involves setting up dedicate end end to end connection is called circuit switching so end to end connection is called circuit switching in circuit switching the uh, routing decision is made when the path is set up across the network okay then after the link has been set between the sender and receiver the information is forwarded continuously okay over the link so after the link has been set up additional address information about the receiver or destination machine is required in circuit switching a dedicated path is established between the sender and receiver which is maintained for the entire duration of conserv conservation as in telephone system, circuit switching is used. If circuit switching is used in a computer network, the sending machine has to be established a link with the receiving machine. After the link established, the data is transmission from sender to receiver. After the data flow, stop the link is related. Okay, so they are used to connect. Okay. So here, uh, the circuit switch network operates in three uh, phases, setup phase, data transfer phase, and teardown phase. So the circuit switching corresponds to the physical layer before starting communication in the setup phase of a resource are reserved during the communication. Of, uh, and these resources are channels with switch buffer, input, output ports, and so on. Data transfer between uh, two substations is not uh, the in the packet form instead of the data gets transferred continuously. No addressing is involved during the data transfer as this dedicated connection is established between the sender and receiver. The switching route data on the basis of the allocated frequency and FDM or allocated time slot. So three phase communication via circuit switching takes place over the three phase of operation circuit established data transfer and circuit disconnected circuit established in circuit switching networks before any signal is transmitted it is necessary to establish end to end link for example if communication is between a and b suppose okay then the path from a to b and b to a has established first then uh, tra data transfer the data, uh, the, the information can now transfer from A to B through the network. The data can be along digital depending on the nature of network. Generally, all the internal connections are duplex. Then circuit disconnected. So this is the um, tear down phase, which we have discussed here, setup phase, then tear down space. After some time, the connection Okay, after some time, the connection between two use of is terminated, usually by the action of the one or uh, two stations. Circuit switching is uh, uh, inefficient in not uh, most of the application. 
the entire channel capacity is required for the duration of connection even if the data is not being transferred once the circuit is established the network is efficiently transferred to the user with no delay involved then efficiency in circuit switching the resource remains dedicated as long as connect connection is alive due to the allocation of resource during the entire duration of the uh, connection uh, the efficiency of circuit switching network is a lower than the other two types of switching so delay even though a efficient efficiency is a delay in a type of network is very small okay the, the delay the, at the time of setup some of uh, some of the following four parts like the program delay why delay occur that is some parts are there like uh, the propagation time related to the request message okay of the source computer uh, okay slope of the first gray box the time required for uh, for the transfer of the request signal the time taken by the acknowledgement from the destination computer the pro okay propagation back to the source slope of the second gray box then the propagation time required to transfer the acknowledgement from this destination computer the delay corresponding to the data transfer phase is equal to the sum of the following two components like the propagation delay for data transfer the time required transfer data okay then the circuit switching is used in a telephone network so what is the application here application that is circuit switching circuit switching using telephone networks okay so advantages advantages of these advantages so here uh, the major advantages of circuit switching is that uh, the dedicated transmission channel the computer established provide the guarantee uh, data rate okay so in circuit switching because of the dedicated path three is a no delay in the data flow okay uh, then uh, disadvantages of circuit switching okay let's see the disadvantages so here the disadvantages of circuit switching uh, is a since the connection is dedicated it cannot be used transmitted any other data even if the channel is free okay even channel free then cannot transmit the data here so dedicated channel is require more bandwidth it take long time to stabilize the connection okay so circuit switching is the method implementing telecommunication network okay it's implement for the telecommunication uh, network in which two network nodes establish dedicated communication channel through a network before the nodes may communicate the circuit uh, guarantees the full bandwidth of channel and remains connected for the duration of communication session the circuit function has if the nodes were physically disconnected as the electrical circuit okay so so here so, so circuit switching is a, i said already this okay so example of circuit switching uh, networks like public switch telephone network okay we can so uh, p s t and this is the example of this that is the public switch telephone networks then b channel and uh, then circuit switch data and high speeds okay high speed circuit switch uh, data circuit switch data okay circuit switch data and high speed and circuit switch data uh, service in cellular system and such as gsm okay so this is the example of uh, circuit switching okay so the defined example of circuit switching network is the early uh, uh, analog uh, along the telephone network when a call is made from one telephone to another switch within the telephone exchange creates the continuous switch circuit between the two telephones for as long as the call lasts 
in circuits within the bit delay constraints constant the during the connection okay so while circuit switching is a commonly used for connecting voice circuit is the concept of dedicated path presenting between two communication uh, okay parties or nodes okay the concept of this communication between exchange the communication between two parties or nodes can be extended or to signal connected other than voice the advantage of using circuit switching is that provides for continuous transfer without overheads associated with packets making maximal use of available bandwidth for the communication okay so circuit is tele uh, technology in telephone network uh, the telephone co companies previously used the circuit switching tele technology for switching and routing a call this was a physical layer technology however today the tele uh, tendency is to use uh, other switching technical technique for example the telephone number is used as a global address and signaling system calls ss7 is used for creating and disconnect the connection telephone uh, telegraph network and message switching in the telegraph the text message is encoded using the uh, using code into sequence of dots and dash each dot or dash is common communicated by transmitting short and long pulses of electrical current over a copper wire in, in telegraph network uh, the text message is transmitted from the source uh, telegraph office to the telegraph switching uh, station at this switch uh, switching station an operator take the decision of routing the message based on the destination address information the operator uh, will will either forward the message if communication limit line uh, means if communication line to the destination is free or store the message till the communication line become free okay so message switching does not establish a dedicated path between two communication devices in message switching each message is treated as an independent unit and include its own destination and source address the complete message is then transmitted from device to device through the internet works each intermediate device receive the message stored is it until the next device is ready to receive it and then forward it to the next device for the resource uh, reason a message switching network is sometimes called as a store and forward network message switching can be pro promulgated uh, uh, with the information about the most efficiency routes as well as information regarding neighboring switches that can be used to forward messages to their unlimited destination then advantages of it like it provide the efficiency traffic management by assigning properties to the messages to be switched it reduces network traffic congestion because it is able to store messages until communication channel become available with message switching the network's device share the data channel it provide a synchronous communication across time zone okay <coughs> so this advantages the sort storing or and forwarding introduce delay hence cannot be used okay uh, to be real time application like voice and video the intermediate device require large storing capacity since it has uh, to store the message unless free path is available then packet switching in packet switching in packet switching messages are broke up into the packet each packet has a header with source so in packet switching in packet switching messages are broken up into packet each packet has a header with source destination and intermediate node address information the other part of packet includes data loads individual packets can take different routes to reach the destination independent routing of packet gives two advantages bandwidth is reduced due to the splitting data onto the different routes in busy circuits 
if okay so the packet can arrive out of the order okay uh at the receiver and how to the resemble in proper sequence in packet switching the packet length is restricted to the circuit certain maximum length this length is short enough to the allow the switching device to store the packet data in memory there are two methods are packet switching datagram packet switching and virtual circuit packet switching so uh, two methods like datagram packet switching <coughs> so in datagram packet switching datagram packet switching okay so here okay so in datagram packet switching in this method message is divided into stream of packet each packet has it's individually included address okay and treat as an independent unit which okay own control instructor the switching device will route each packet independently okay through the network each in, uh, intermediate node will determine the packet next route uh, segment before transmission start and uh, sequence of packet and their destination are communication by exchanging control information between the sending terminal uh, the networks and receiving terminal uh, in packet switching okay in this method means in data gram packet switching okay so in packet switching the resource are not allowed uh, allocated for any packet of uh, so there is a no reserve bandwidth and no scheduled processing time allocated for each packet no dedicated connection is established between the sender and receiver the resource allocation is on demand and on the first uh, come first service when switch receive a packet it has to wait if there are any other packet be processed this will increase the delay the delay the datagram packet switching generally corresponds to the network's layer the packet are called as datagram datagram packet switching uh, in circuit four means four, four packets are delivered to be delivered from the sender to receiver suppose four packets there and it's a, is is a form of uh, from sender to uh, receiver the switches in datagram network are called routers okay through which link it will uh, communicate or exchange the data it is called the router all the four packets belong to the same message in this circuit however actually they can get original uh, originate from any computer so the form, okay so the virtual packet switching here let's see the uh, virtual packet switching okay so this is datagram packet switching uh, uh, here just one minute okay so this is about the datagram packet switching but what is the virtual uh, packet switching here virtual uh, circuit switching is a packet switching methodology whereby a path is established between source and destination through which all packets will be routed during a call all intermediate does not between the two points put an entry routing there uh, the routing table right so virtual circuit packet switching is a connection oriented this is a connected to datagram switch okay so which connection less packets uh, switching methodology advantages of virtual circuit switching are packets are delivered in order since they all take same route the overhead in packet is smaller since there is a no need for each packet to contain the full address the connection is more reliable okay then billing is easier in uh, virtual packet switching okay the connection is more reliable then disadvantages is uh, virtual circuit networks are the switching equipment needs to be more powerful since each switch needs to be stored detail of calls that uh, are passing through it and to allocate capacity for any traffic that each call could uh, generate it okay so packet switching this uh, advantages is that uh, general 
a packet switching networks can perform data rate conser conservation when traffic become heavy on circuit switching network some calls are blocked okay this is a uh, so on packet switching network packets are still uh, expected uh, but delivery delay increase so priorities can be used so each terminate in group sharing the same physical circuit may be connected to the totally different destination no signal user or large data block can tie uh, up circuit or node resource If data protection against uh, loss error are corrected by transmission okay user can select different destination for each virtual call overcoming the inflexibility of point to point dedicated network disadvantage of packet switching increases delay due to the following reason transmission delay uh, is equal to length of packet divided by incoming channel rate the amount of overall packet delay can uh, vary substantially uh, Jitters due to the following reason: packet may vary in length, packet may take different routes, packet are subject to vary delay in switching. This is not good for real-time application. Higher overhead reduce capacity to carry user data. More process required at node. Datagram network in internet. The internet use datagram approach or to switching at the network layer. The routing of packet in internet takes place on to the basis of or uh, on universal address defined in the network layer okay so this is about uh, switching okay so today's lecture over here thank you